In this video we'll briefly discuss, almost all you need to know about aspirin, how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, and contraindications and precautions. Aspirin works as analgesic, antipyretic and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. And at low dose it works as platelet antiagregant. Aspirin inhibits prostaglandin synthesis, resulting in analgesia, anti-inflammatory activity and platelet aggregation inhibition. And it reduces fever, by acting on the brain's heat regulating center, to promote vesitilation and sweating. So it is indicated in the treatment of mild to moderate pain, fever, and various inflammatory conditions. And it is also indicated for the reduction of risk of death, or myocardial infarction, in patients with previous infarction or unstable angina pectoris, or recurrent transient ischemia attacks, or stroke in patients who have had transient brain ischemia, caused by platelet emboli. It is also indicated as a secondary prevention of severe preeclampsia. Aspirin is available as 325 and 500 mg tablets, and 81 mg enteric coated tablets, and also available as chewable tablets. For pain and fever, the usual dose for adolescent over 16 years and adults is 300 mg to 1 gram every 4 to 6 hours without exceeding 4 grams per day, for 1 to 3 days. And for prevention of preeclampsia, the dose is 75 mg once daily, from the 12th to the 32nd week of gestation. Aspirin shouldn't be administered to patients with allergy to aspirin and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, peptic ulcer, coagulation disorders, hemorrhage, and severe hepatic, renal or cardiac impairment. And it also shouldn't be administered to children for pain or fever, peristimol should be used instead. Aspirin should be administered with caution to elderly patients, and patients with asthma. Indicated doses shouldn't be exceeded, particularly in elderly patients, because intoxications are severe, and possibly fatal. Aspirin may cause allergic reactions, epigastric pain, peptic ulcer, and hemorrhage. Dizziness and tinnitus may also occur as early signs of overdose. Rees syndrome may occur in children. Encephalopathy and severe hepatic disorders. In any of these cases, aspirin should be stopped, and patient should contact his healthcare provider. Aspirin should be taken during meals, preferably with a lot of water. Aspirin shouldn't be combined with methotrexate, anticoagulants and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Monitor combination with insulin and corticosteroids. In pregnancy, aspirin is avoided in the treatment of pain and fever, and peristamol can be used instead. And for the prevention of preeclampsia, the dose of 75 mg per day shouldn't be exceeded. Aspirin is avoided in breastfeeding, and peristamol can be used instead. That's all for this video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos like this one.